Here is a tour around the spray booth that we use to paint the 914. This is essentially a uh, garage shop converted for use of painting. Uh, the space we're working with is about 30 by 15. And you can see I've got some fans in the back and then the front wall is essentially the whole thing is a filter. So uh, the fans draft air and exhaust the fumes out and then the front wall filters everything that comes through. I've got a mixing station here, uh, the hood set up on a stand. I'm going to put another coat on that. I wasn't happy with some fish eyes. And then we'll wet down the floor before we spray the whole car. It's not uh, a perfect booth. There will be some dust, of course, that gets in, but it's a much better setup than just spraying outside. And we should be able to sand out any defects in the color sanding process. So the first thing that we're going to do here is spray on some uh, sealing primer. This is similar to using like an epoxy primer. It's kind of a base coat that goes on top of the 2K, but under the color just to provide a uniform surface across the whole car. In retrospect, I would probably use an epoxy primer next time just because it's easier to work with. I had some issues with this uh, flashing over really quickly and, and leaving some dry spots that I had to come back and sand out before color. So I'd probably go epoxy next time. So now that we've got the primer coat completely done, I'm going to put some color in the gun and make sure I've got a good spray pattern. And we're going to start down low in an area that um, won't show so I can just make sure that everything's spraying right and then kind of work into the rest of the car. The reason I'm respaying the inside of the fender well there is just because I had some fish eyes on it that uh, I wasn't too happy with so I sanded that back down smooth and, and put another coat of color on it. So I'm making sure to kind of match my spray as I go across the car, meeting to the halfway point, and then immediately going to the other side of the car and catching it while it's still wet to make sure it lays nice and flat. Ideally, you'd want to make long passes across the whole length of the car, uh, especially if you were spraying with the doors on. But in this case, since I'm spraying, really the car is two half since the doors have already been sprayed, um, I'm not going to do that. And here I'm mixing some more color and testing the spray pattern again. So I'm starting around the wheel arches and making sure that I get everything that might be overlooked. Um, so I'm going to hit those first to make sure I have enough color there and then work up the rest of the panel. I'm shooting around 24, 25 PSI here on the HVLP air gun. It's a DeVille Bis starting line gun. And that works out really well for me for this PPG concept. It's DCC, single stage, urethane. And here I'm just kind of walking around and making sure that there's no areas that I missed. I've got out a LED flashlight and I'm checking to make sure that there's no white showing through from the sealer coat. This is a really good step. Uh, even better if you can turn the lights off completely in your booth and just kind of walk around and make sure that there's 100% coverage. Uh, for the most part, everything was really well covered, but I did see a couple areas that were a little dry, so I made sure that I put a little bit more color in those specific areas when I put the next coat.